Hey guys, how's it going? Laura with Garden Dancer. Today we are doing a Mother's Day gift guide. I have gathered 20 different things that I think would make excellent Mother's Day gifts, but first I have to say that mom, if you're watching this video, please stop watching right now, otherwise you're gonna find out what I got you for Mother's Day. So I've broken these things up into two different categories, more decorative items and more practical because I know that there are two different kinds of people out there. Number one is flowers. It's a classic choice that you can't go wrong with. Everybody always has room for more flowers. The Saturday before Mother's Day is actually our busiest day of the year. We have tons of people coming in to buy pre-planted hanging baskets and other flowers for their moms to plant in their gardens. And number two, which is kind of along the same lines, is to elevate your flower gift giving just a little bit by picking out a really decorative, beautiful hanging basket. I love this one, it's one of my favorites. It's called the Peacock Planter and Liner Set from Kinsman. This is a 14 inch diameter. And the thing I like about this is that the form is made of really sturdy metal that's coated so it'll last year after year. It comes with the cocoa liner, so all you have to do is pick out a few little flowers to put in there to make it pretty for your mom. Number three is the Succulent Kokodama Kit from Super Moss. I think these are super cute. I would love to have a couple of these in my own house. They have everything you need to plant it up, including the soil, the sphagnum moss, the Kokodama form, and the hanging chain. Number four is this Dewdrop Hummingbird Feeder from Parasol. I think that these are so sweet because they're not huge, they aren't super heavy, so you can hang them off of all different sizes of branches, and they come in lots of different colors. Number five are head statue planters. This one is called Hermes by Orlandi Statuary. I just love this guy. And head planters seem to be quite the thing right now. I think you can find them at pretty much any garden center. And I think they look really cool with stuff coming out of their head. So I've got a donkey's tail sedum in mine. They look equally as good with grasses or string of pearls or whatever you like. Number six are solar lights. Now there are tons of different styles of solar lights out there, but these were the first ones that actually turned my head. These are like Edison bulbs. I think they're really neat. They've got a really nice long stake on them and a little solar panel here. So you can stick them down in your landscape somewhere and then they'll light up really pretty at night. Number six is this Galileo glass thermometer. I think that these are really unusual and something you don't see very often. It's something that you might think is neat, but you wouldn't think to buy for yourself. So the temperature is indicated by the lowest floating glass ball inside. Something really fun to put on a bookshelf or a windowsill. Number eight is this copper watering can from Gardner Supply Company. I just got this this past winter and I love it. It holds just like the right amount of water and the stream of water that comes out is perfect for watering house plants. Number nine are these copper trays and these are also from Gardner Supply Company. They come in four different sizes. This is extra small at eight inch diameter. This is the medium at 12 inches and then the large at 14 inches. Keep in mind that you can buy these as just the trays or you can buy them with stands any way you like it. And I have done lots of different things in these already. I've only had them for a few months and I've already done a fairy garden. I did hi white hyacinths in them this winter and then I also did an Easter display with them and I really like them. All right, so we're moving on to the more practical set of gifts with number 10. This is the Waterwise Drip System Kit from Proven Winners. You can hook up 10 containers with one kit and this is what I'm getting my mom for Mother's Day. I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna set up a bunch of her containers on Drip System. I'm gonna hook them up to a digital timer so that she doesn't even have to turn on the hose and everything will be automated. Give the gift of time to your mom for Mother's Day. Number 11 are kneeling pads. Kneeling pads make a world of difference when you're working out in the garden. Now these are from Tommy Co. They are amazing knee pads. They're super cushy, two different sizes. This is like the mother of all kneel kneeling pads. We love these down at the garden center because when you put your knees down on them, there's room enough for the rest of your legs that are also on the ground when you're kneeling down. There's also a smaller size, lots of different colors too. Number 12 are harvest baskets. I love to have these outside with me in the garden. They're great for picking flowers, for harvesting any kind of produce, lots of different sizes and kinds available. This is actually my favorite one. This is all wire, so it's really lightweight. This one's made in Germany. Really hard to find these, you guys. So if you can find one of these at your local garden center, pick it up. They are amazing. And if any of you guys can find the link to this, because I couldn't find a link, please put it in the comment section down below. Now this other one, this is kind of a classic basket. This is the Pikes original main garden hod. This is also a very neat one. Number 13 is this decorative jute twine holder. So this kind of falls under the decorative and practical categories, both of them. I love this cast iron holder. It's really weighty, so when you pull your jute twine, it doesn't move. It also comes with this pair of super sharp scissors with a little holder so that you never lose them. Number 14 are these decorative cast iron stakes from Eshart. I love these. I mean, who wouldn't want these in their garden as their garden stakes? So each one of them has a piece of slate right up top along with a paint pen so that you can write down whatever plant you're IDing and the paint pen will withstand weather. Number 15 are Felco 2 pruners. If you guys have watched any of our videos, you know that I love these pruners. They're the best ones I have ever used. They're comfortable. So if your mom does not have a good pair of pruners or if you've heard her complain about her other crappy pruners, get her a pair of these. 
Number 16 are Atlas Nitrile gloves. And you guys, these are the best gardening gloves I have ever tried because they're thin, they fit really snug. I can still feel what I'm doing when I've got them on and they're really inexpensive. Number 17 is this 30 gallon collapsible garden bag. I use this all the time in my garden. It's one of those things that's always on my garden cart. I love that it folds up really flat for easy storage and they're not that expensive either. Number 18 is this adjustable rake from Bond. I really like that this rake adjusts down to this really skinny size so I can get in between plants that are closer together. And then when I've got a larger area, I can extend it out. I also appreciate that the tines are really flexible so I can run this over the top of like ground covers or over evergreens when there's leaves and debris inside them. And I can run it over the top to collect the debris without harming my plants. Number 19 is a really good quality pair of leaf scoops. These ones are from Relief. And you guys, these are one of the first things that a company ever sent us when we started our YouTube channel. And I'm thankful to, for them every single time I go out into my garden because I use them a lot. Uh, they allow me to gather up a lot of stuff all at once and then I can easily slide it right down in my collapsible bag. And number 20, and this is the last thing on our guide, is garden carts. Let me show you. So there are actually two different kinds of carts that I find really useful out in the garden. This is kind of my all-purpose cart. We used it a lot for hauling wood this winter, and I also outfit it with all of my gardening tools so I can just wheel it around with me in the garden. I really like it. It's from Gardener Supply. And then we have this type. This is kind of a utility garden cart. This is the kind of cart we use down at the garden center. Great for moving pots and plants around in the garden. So that's it, you guys. Those are 20 things that I think would make any mom happy on Mother's Day. So I was able to gather up almost all of these things at my local garden center. So if you've got a good local source, you should be able to find all of these things or a version of them there. If not, if you don't have a good local source, we will provide links down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye.